Let's Back with the player of the game, Nick Torres. Another handful of hits today. The hit streak is at 14 in a row now. It looks easy out there for you. Why has that been the case lately? Well, I can assure you it's definitely not easy, but um, I don't know. I'm just trying to have good at bats, trying to stay disciplined, stay within my zone, and uh, grind out ABs with, for the team. You know, I feel like a lot of my hits lately have come with two strikes, and that's just me throwing my uh, selfish approach, if you could say, my uh, you know, drive the ball approach aside and just trying to get on base for the team. You had the double. You were a split second away from a home run. You hit it down the left field line. What happened? You couldn't give these fans a little more excitement tonight? <laughs> yeah, no, I was just a hair out in front of it, but um, that guy was pretty much throwing everything at me. I was just trying to be on time for anything that he threw, and yeah, I, was, I caught it a hair out in front. It would have been nice to see it sit, but uh, I had a funny moment with the catcher actually afterwards. He was talking the ball foul the whole time I was running out of the box, and so we kind of laughed about it after, but yeah, you know, and then um, broken bat, single next pitch, but I'll take it. Yeah. Uh, Thomas Dormany, your pitcher goes seven scoreless innings. He's been your team out now for a two and a half months. Have you guys figured out anything that faces him on the mound yet? Doesn't seem so, so far. Yeah, he's been pitching really well. He pitched well in the All-Star game, the, you know, a couple pitches he got to throw and stuff, and um, obviously did well enough in the first half to get himself there. So, yeah, I mean, we're proud of him. Everybody's been pulling for each other, and he's obviously – Done really well on the mound, and I feel like we're you know we're backing him up defensively and whatnot. So we just got to keep it rolling. 11 and five over the last 16 games. What's the clubhouse been like the last three weeks? It's been awesome. It's been a fun team to be a part of. You know, it's completely different than the first month of the season, where uh, you know morale was down and everything like that. So yeah, our morale's up now. Everybody's pulling for each other. Everybody's expecting to win. We don't show up expecting to lose. It's it's all right. How, what are we gonna do to grind out a win today? And I think that's just been our mentality. The two uh, two nothing victory today, Nick. Thanks for the time. Appreciate yeah, it. Thing. Yep, you got it. Back after this to wrap it up at Parkview Field. The Tip Caps have now won seven in a row at Parkview <laughs> Field. The home winning streak continues tonight with the 2 0 victory over the Bowling Green Hot Rods. Back up in the booth with Dave Doster, John Nolan. So glad to have you with us here tonight on Raleigh Fingers Night. And Oh, well, everyone is in the spirit. I finally found a solution for having a face for radio. <laughs> exactly. Hey, I'll tell you, I could never grow a mustache like this, but I'll take it. We had Raleigh Fingers join our broadcast tonight in the pitching tonight. Maybe not Hall of Fame caliber like Raleigh, but pretty good. Taking a look back at the highlights, this was a game of pitching and defense early on. And for Fort Wayne defensively, behind the starting pitcher, Thomas Dormany, it was Felipe Blanco who helped turn this double play 4-6-3 to six to three onto Corey Darrow and Santos. This was a scoreless game through four and a half innings, but that changed in the bottom of the fifth. Rudy Hiron reached on a Bowling Green error, and then Nick Torres came through with an RBI double. How about the celebration right there? <laughs> Nick is feeling it these days, now on a 14-game hitting streak. Torres is double, made it 1-0. Franchi Corey Darrow, the RBI single. It was 2-0. And that was enough for Thomas Dormany. He looked good. He was getting uh, first pitch strikes all night, working in his breaking ball, even got picked off a runner trying to steal second. So he had everything working, bat, uh, pounding the strike zone all night, and uh, the hitters were hitting from behind all night. Career long, seven innings. He struck out five along the way. Colby Blueberg then came in for a six out save. Got interesting in the top of the ninth inning. Bowling Green loaded the bases, but Blueberg. Puts the finishing touches on Fort Wayne's third shutout win of the season. And the Tin Caps are above 500 in half number two at three and two. Quick game tonight, even with the ninth inning getting interesting. Tonight's game still less than two hours and 20 minutes and played in front of a fantastic crowd for a Monday night. More than 5,700 here. And a lot of them got autographs from Raleigh Fingers. Uh, me included. So I'm pretty pumped about tonight. And meet, anytime you can meet a Hall of Famer pitcher that's been around, and uh, I'm going to add it to my collection. It was just, I'm on cloud nine right now. I just had a blast meeting Raleigh and just a great guy to talk to. He was a treasure. Here's a look at tomorrow's pitching match as the Tin Caps look to make it two in a row at home in this series and eight in a row at home overall. It's the Nelson Lamette for Fort Wayne against Chris Pike for Bowling Green. Pike faced Fort Wayne earlier this season and beat the Tin Caps, so Fort Wayne will be looking for a bit of revenge. That's Tuesday night at 7.05. Big fun in story. Tickets available online at tincapstickets.com. If you can't make the game, we hope you join us here. Our coverage will start on Comcast Network 81 at 7 o'clock. You can tell right now this is a group that's winning, is confident, and enjoying themselves. Well, that's what Nick talked about in, in the post game that they're expecting to come to the field, expecting to win every day instead of expecting to lose. So they're battling, they're revived. It's a second half, and they're going to go out and play hard, and it was fun 
fun game to watch them play tonight. We're having fun, too, and I guess we gave up our identities here. <laughs> yeah, I we did, I think I looked better with the mask. <laughs> well, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks to everyone for their work behind the scenes here tonight. For Dave Dosser, John Nolan saying thank you and good night from downtown Fort Wayne. This has been a Tin Caps production.